if you've been following on Facebook, it's announcement day. Is there anybody not? No, I'm not even going to ask. Okay. Okay. Shall I do that first, Doug? Shall I do that first? I'll do that first. Right. Everybody saw the... Everybody that were involved in the 24-hour build. I'll do that first. We, we came in, we did 24 hours, we built a ship. Uh, at the time it looked pretty good. But when we looked at it sort of two weeks later, it looked like it needed a little bit of a, a little bit of TLC. <coughs> so we gave it to Paul Patton. Paul, morning. Uh, and we spent 24 hours on it and Paul decided that he would take it home after I sort of said take that home. Uh, and Paul took it home and put over 100 hours into it, which is why it looked like it did. Now, Paul has now got the aircraft, even though Rob did a cracking job on the day. Uh, in comparison, we went with the, the need a little bit of a fettle. So again, Paul's taking them on uh, because he's got the time to do it and obviously he's got the skill and he wears a trilby. <laughs> <laughs> and if that doesn't qualify, I don't know what does. Now, where are we going with this? So I took the ship into work, right? And this is one of the announcements. So I took the ship into work and I put it on the table in the canteen and my boss came down, she's a lady, uh, it's called Suzanne, she came down and saw it and said that is absolutely fantastic, what is that all about, is that the 24 hour build that you did, uh, is that what the lads did. Now bear in mind the boss gave us some money for some beer and they also contributed to the cars, some models for heroes uh, and I said yes it is. Right, I, we set a target of £250, right, okay, but we raised considerably more than that. So, Suzanne gave Models for Heroes, I'm, I'm going to say me, right, but it's not me, it's Models for Heroes. <coughs> Suzanne gave me some money, okay. So, when, when you look at it in grand scheme of things, we raised £1,760. <laughs> Officially, Officially, we raised 1800. Unofficially, we raised 1760 pounds. So, if I tell you now that Suzanne put her hand in the pocket and gave me 500 pounds, yeah, well done. I'm kidding, she didn't. She didn't. Oh, she didn't. Oh, if I tell you that Suzanne put her hand in the pocket and gave me a thousand pounds. You, you need to start getting goosebumps round about now. Okay, so how would we feel about that? Yeah, Do mega. It? Mega, that's unbelievable, isn't it? She didn't. Go on. If I say that Suzanne put her hand in her pocket and matched what we No got way. Yeah. One no thousand. Way. Yes. yes. So obviously, uh, I'll show this video. Uh, as far as that's concerned, uh, I got hold of Malcolm, uh, Malcolm Giles straight away, that wants for heroes, and I've been tying up with Caroline as well, who's the secretary, it's his wife. Uh, and I told them, and you can't believe the amount of response I've had. Uh, obviously thanking, thanking everybody that originally put the time and effort in. And then obviously I'm now gonna go back and say, just, you know, well, what can I say? You tell me, what can I say to that? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's unbelievable, isn't it? They yeah, matched amazing. what we've put in. And when she told me, I'm like, are hey, you kidding? And she's like, no. Okay. So, they've matched it. So what we've got, the guys that did part of the 24 hour build, right? You've all got man caves, haven't you? <laughs> all, all lady caves. So we've got a little bit of certificates, okay? Uh, and you are going to get one of these <laughs> if you took part in the 24 hour build. Now, I don't want it to discriminate, no, I couldn't come and I didn't do it and one thing or another. Look, at the end of the day, for the lads that took part, okay, you get a little certificate for your man cave. It's that simple. And that's just club's appreciation, just to say, stick it in there, it's got the date on it, it's got signature on. £3,560 is what yes. we raised in total. £3,560. 
Okay, so that was big announcement number one. That was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah. Start, um, big announcement number two. Look at him. Look at our bill. Yeah. Do we have to? Unfortunately, <laughs> should we? <laughs> Bill, that, the other announcement. So, Bill is, uh, Bill's got his birthday shortly. Okay. Uh, and Bill, Bill is 98. <laughs> 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 Sorry, mate, that's upside down. Uh, Bill is 86. Okay, Bill is 86. And we all know people who are knocking on and to say he's 86 uh, does a fantastic job so first thing i'm going to celebrate today and it's not very often that we do this uh so don't be thinking who i'm next because it's once every never happening again <laughs> okay what we've decided to do is make bill an honorary member of club yes okay <laughs> So what does honorary member mean? Honorary member means that Bill can basically come and go as he pleases. Uh, he won't pay subs no more. Okay, he's only paying for years, I think. Uh, <laughs> <it's an honorary laughs> uh, but, but, I have got it written down here that he needs to buy two bonus balls every month. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, uh, Rob's come in, Bill's son. That's right, isn't it? it is, yeah. So, as part of that honorary membership, Rob, do me a favour, you'll come to me, if you won't mind. <coughs> okay, you'll come to me, and I want you to give that to your dad. Okay, this is from everybody at the club. Okay, Bill, you can open it now. No way. <laughs> so, we've got Bill a little bit of something there, I'm sure that it'll take pride of place. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, it's Brilliant. just a little bit of something for Bill's house, uh, obviously. Thank you. Oh, oh, the okay. reason he's got it is because it, behind the scenes, you all know it takes a lot of running this club. It takes so much effort and so much energy, which we put in. But every now and again, over the last 12, 18 months, when we come back after COVID, you know, I'm doing stuff and running about like an headless chicken. But when I'm at work and I, there's certain stuff that I can't do, and, and I've got, I, I all know all your names, and I know all where you, when you work and when you retire, and, when you're there, and every single time I think, I need this job doing, I need this job doing now. I can't do it, who can do it? And there's only one man that I can ring that does them jobs for me. Whether it's going and collecting polos, going and paying somebody, going and picking this up, that or whatever, it's always Bill, always Bill. Because he's got bugger all else to do. I've been saying what stood behind me. The yeah. kid that he's seen his calendar. I'm, I'm running no more for him than anybody else. <laughs> so, so we've decided to get Bill and honour him under. Well done, Bill. Well done, Bill. <laughs> Speech. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Little, little speech, just a little one. <coughs> well, that's all. Oh, sure. There's <laughs> one man who's saying, he, and he reads me every time with it, he says, how are you doing, young William? That's young Alan. I'm doing very well, thank you. I appreciate what you've done for me. I appreciate this gesture. If it wasn't for Mark and the team, this wouldn't be possible. Because we've got together as a team, we work as a team, but this team needs a leader. And one leader in particular stood at the rostrum now, and he guides us through everything. Helps us with everything, shows us what we need, helps us when we need, and looks after us as a club. And for that, I appreciate Mark. And I've got a little something from Mark. Mm -hmm. What am I trying to do? No, Mark. Mark, what's your that? We've got to pick up. Obviously, while we're doing that, uh, Bill, you're the subs, and we all appreciate it. We all love you to bits, mate. Everybody knows that. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, 
Det er det. Uh, not bad for Harry. Yeah, not bad for Harry. Yeah. An absolute superstar, mate. Jolly bum. Well, I've got everybody's attention. Uh, right, so, I've got so much to go through. Please be patient. Uh, so, we've done uh, the charity match from work and we've done honorary member. Um, Stay in my bill then, so birthday, uh, 86 this time, Bill, are you? Uh, I'm very proud of that and looking fit as a fiddle now. Uh, I do know a couple of little facts about Bill. Uh, Auto Orchid Hunters, Bill wants it in RAF, Orchid Hunters uh, and Gloucester Meteors. Oh my god, above. What's that? Is that for me? Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Vision, man. You are actually yeah. the same team. Yeah, uh, well, right, oh my god. Uh, Bill, I'll catch up with you, mate, chucking out. Uh, so, Orkin Hunters, Dustin Meteors, RAF Church, Fenton. Yeah, RAF Church, Fenton, RAF Church. I've got the RAF Church, Fenton, so don't ruin your mouth. Oh, sorry, <laughs> uh, 19 Squadron for 10 years. No, 19 Squadron for 12 months, that was all. Alright, oh, okay, <laughs> right. Bear with me a second. We crash play. We're just trying to <laughs> lay down the cross inside. Yeah. Because that's all we get the information. Alright. Uh, and we know that you've been through a lot, mate. Uh, definitely, but you've got, uh, you've had your family around you. It's like, this is your life. Is it? <laughs> is it right. like, where's the bed door? Uh, you've had your family around you. But, uh, from every member of the club, mate, we want to say, you know, this is your family as well, as, as you well know. Yeah. Okay. So, similar, moving on. So what I've done is, here we go, here we go. So I've tasked. So we've got you some presents. We've got you some presents, mate. Right, okay. Now, there might be a little bit risque for a man of 86. Okay, but we're gonna start with Dave Ashcroft now. Now I did I did say to Dave, I did say to Dave, right, who's been a little bit hard of hearing, Bill's 86. Shall we get a couple of strippers in? <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple. <laughs> so it turned up. Oh I've got it here, Dave. No, you yeah. I actually thought you said a pair of slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, Bill. I thought you said a pair of slippers, mate. Oh, sorry. Uh, ten. Ten wide? Ten wide? Ten wide. Ten wide. Ten wide. Ten, well, at least I got that right. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Bill. So, I failed there, Yeah, again. Again. Uh, so, I'm saying to Dougie Tucky, you know, Bill's birthday coming up. And uh, we need to get him something that's going to keep him nice and warm at through the night. You know, and I'm expecting the, like a really nice tidy lady to walk in. Doug! Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Happy days. I'll keep you warm for a night, we'll want it. Alright. Uh, uh, Mr. Bridge. I hope, I hope there's a blonde bringing it in. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Bridge. Uh, was tasked Bill with getting something that will keep your mind occupied. Uh, okay, so that's uh, that. What you want to do there, mate? Well, I was originally tasked something that would keep your brain active and your hand active. All right. <laughs> so unfortunately, I was warned off about getting you something like men only or penthouse. So got you a Sudoku. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Mr. Stringer, right, I said, look, get Bill, get Bill something that he can have a little tipple on on a night time that will put him to sleep, Alan? Well, it's just a little bit of something for when you're reclining your Shackleton's high chair. That's <laughs> a, just don't spill it, mate, you know. Okay. Happy <laughs> day. <laughs> And So Andy Norfolk, uh, Andy getting something small that will make sure he's got something hard in his hand. What? <laughs> so that's small to keep him out. Yeah. What we got? Well, I'm just a little bit sure we've got the 
I couldn't have asked for anything better from a, from a good group of fellas. I'm late, I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Cheers, mate. Go on, man. No, I'm not. Bill, come to the podium for me, Lord, please. Oh. Uh, where's our genie? Now, get right here. It's not a check. It's not one of those big checks that, right, open that for me, please. On that for me. What we got? We got a beautiful card. Yeah. So thanks to Mark Ridge's wife for doing that, Liam. I don't oh, think yes. there's not we put the stuff in names. Oh, oh, there you go. You see. Oh, look back now. How's that? Yeah. Well, to be honest, you're all a bunch of idiots. Tell us what we got. Well, two idiots. <laughs> It's took you 89 years to tell you that. You don't really realise how much I appreciate this. What is going for my morale is unbelievable. And as I say, thank you from the bottom of my heart to oh, each and every one of you. I like that. Mate. Appreciate you very much. Thank you. These teams. Uh, when, when, when Bill starts a club, and uh, that, uh, Bill brought me some of his models in, and I looked at them, and I'll tell you what, for an old guy, and I looked at Bill's models, and uh, I thought, chuffing all their rubbish. So, <laughs> so I put him with uh, I put him with Dave Housecroft, like like you do, to bring him on. Uh, that didn't work out at all. Uh, put, him with, put, put him back with me and I made him worse, so he's, he's done it on his own. So now we come to, so birthday presents, right? So listen, I know that you've just got me that, right? Don't get your hopes up here, by the way, so. Oh no, I have finished, I've got, I've got you the gift, I've got you the gift. I'm, I'm, right, so after everybody else has failed, right? Look at me, I can't keep up. After everybody else has failed, getting you what you want, right? <laughs> How's that? All right, so you might be able to see what you're looking for for that. I called Dan at Bill's the other day, and uh, you know, I'm sort of sat in his conservatory, and he's got a pair of binoculars there on, on the little side. I'm doing a bit of stargazing there, Bill. He's like, No, I need these for me modelling now because <laughs> my, my eyes are that bad. And uh, another thing as well, whenever you talk to Bill, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. It's so, especially over there, so, you know, I called him, it was late, it was like second dottest day of year. But Bill, he's always got this glow around him, hasn't he? And uh, it turns out he hasn't, he's, he's had eating on. <laughs> so, 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 some presents, but don't get your hopes up, look at Dave's face. Don't get your hopes up. I'm only going to show you, Box. Oh! Right, because we're coming on to, yeah, we're, we're coming on to celebration number three. Which is that one, right? You can't get your hands on that. <laughs> Number three, Bill's retiring. Bill's, well, I said he was retiring, but then it turns out he's semi retiring because even at the grand old age of 86, the eyes and the hands aren't quite coordinating exactly right, Bill. They're just not, we're it and miss a minute, mate, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> very much so. So, so that's what obviously the other part of honorary membership because because we love Bill and it's his birthday and honorary member. But when when a guy's literally got to start thinking about hanging up his paintbrush, you know, if if you look at what everybody's doing in here, best for me, Bill, by a million miles. And if I said to you. This is going to be the last model that you build, <coughs> or set the last model that you've got to build. You'd be a little bit devastated, wouldn't you? Uh, and Bill, but Bill's not quite. Is Andy Ayer Bill is what he used to be? Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Okay. So, so for the retirement, uh, we just want to say that just because you're retiring, don't mean that you're not semi-retiring. Don't mean that you can't come. You're always welcome, mate. 
and I'm sure, and I speak for everybody, if you've got something that you have seen that you are building, that you think, I, want, I wanted to do one of them before I own the paintbrush up, then you'll get the kit, right, and bring it down, and I'm sure that somebody will take it on for you and do it for you. All right, Cocker, but not me. You don't need that. Right? <laughs> okay. okay. So, so that just about, all oh, right, one more. Now, Jane, our Jane, look at our Jane, everybody. We've got Jane. Go and get, go and get your big one, Jane, out of the fridge. Go and get your big one out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to keep that down, mate. So you can you know, always rely on Jane, right? So do what she's well. I don't want to disrespect her. Obviously, do what she's really good at. She's really good at modelling as well, but she's really good at something else, Bill, as well. And she's going to bring it in for you. All right. Okay. While Jane's doing that, and we all say thank you to Jane. Just a couple of bits to cover. So, uh, oh, one, I went down, when I went down and picked Bill's little shield up the other day, has anybody heard of the Portobello Crafting Club at Wakefield? This one were a little bit scary. So there's two ladies in the sort of trophy shop and I'm talking to them and who are you and who are you and what are you doing and all that sort of stuff. And there's 30 ladies that go down to this Portobello Club. And Tim calls in as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I'm just going to do the big um, duvet. The duvet. <laughs> and she says to me, oh, what do you do? And I said, and I talked to her about it, I said, I love it, why, what's the matter? She said, well, there's 30 of us, 30 of us that go down and we do all this crafting. And all our husbands, which is the equivalent to us, lots like in here, have all said, you're not always crafting. What are we going to do? I said, well, what do you want to do? She went, well, I want to mention their fix and go into a, a club. That's 30, 30 people in one right. eight. Is nobody else allowed? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. 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 All, all I will say is the fact that I'm a member of the club that Mark's just mentioned along with Tim and a few other people. The only problem is, out of all the guys that go there, I am the only one that can still get sent to the naughty corner. Because oh. my mother's a member. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, couple of points to that, because I can see we're setting fire to somewhere in there. Uh, so, Jean is, is bringing it in. Right, Halifax, now, Christmas shopping day, we talked about it, didn't we? Yeah. And I was sort of like, look, let's go to Chase, we're all gutted, weren't we? The, the last place that we went weren't quite right. So last year, last month, we talked about going back to Halifax. Is, is everybody all right with that? Yeah. 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 Are we doing, because I need to send an email, that's, that's why I'm saying that. So Halifax, have we nailed it down? Yeah. Nailed yeah. it down for Halifax? Okay. Uh, right, we talked about, this one's important, we talked about the 24 hour build for next year and we just can't get our heads round and I've talked to certain people about diorama and what it's involved and the cost of resin and how do I include 20 guys in building one thing when I've got a proposal for you for the next 24 hour build for whichever charity it is to make everybody feel I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause. What have we got here? Yeah. Look at this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bill. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, it's been great. Super. Don't let the balloons carry you off into the sky. So, we've got 24 hour build, so instead of doing one thing, right, because obviously this time we've built the ship and we've put it onto Paul, 
and Paul put 120 hours in, we've got a proposal. Instead of doing one thing, for the guys who want to help us raise money next year on the 24 hour build, bring your own in, do what you want. Whether you start it, finish it, whatever, whether it's a car, bike, bus, train, aircraft, helicopter, that looks like a nice breakfast, whatever. Okay, so you can basically do what you want. Or you can just come to the 24 hour build and sit and chat. If we still want to do a diorama, we'll still look at doing a diorama, but we can't do it in the time with the people that we've got. It's just not to a standard. This this ship, we're giving it to Neil and he's taking it all the way around country. Right, Dave Housecroft, Dolly and Daisy. If you just have a look at these pair of beauties. Dave's building as a cabinet for the ship, so it's protected. And to do a diorama next year, as, as big or as small as it is, we've got to look at folding it up, what's going to fall off, what's going to break, how heavy it's going to be, who's going to look after it, how long it's going to take, how much it's going to cost. Whoa, we'll have a minute here. Yeah. It's too much. It's, yeah, it's too much. Yeah. So yeah, for next ready. year's 24 hour build, we are proposing just bring in what you want. Okay. I need to take that off my box. And then in two weeks time, we've got extended club. Can anybody remember me talking about that? Mm -hmm. yeah. So the 16th of July, we're opening at nine and we're going all the way through till eight, nine, 10 o'clock at night. And it's for the guys who really want to come and just chill out for the day. Okay, soft seating, cups of tea. <coughs> for tea, we're gonna do a kitty. But again, when we've looked at it, it's gonna cost an arm and a leg. Listen, that road there, if you're gonna stay after tea, there's a pizza shop, a fish shop, a curry house. You can nip out, come back, have your tea, chill out, do some modeling, whatever. 16th of July. Okay? Is, are, we, are, can't, are we doing, are we doing all that? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, that's enough. <coughs> that's not enough, I don't want any more. Right, that's enough. If, if we're looking at less than sort of eight, nine, I would say, yeah, well, we'll, we'll not bother. Okay. Uh, but if, if there's a dozen, a dozen of us, then we'll, we'll make it a go. All right. I'm trying to get Paul across from Liverpool who just passed his put put test. Okay. Jean has done the cake for Bill. She's also brought loads and loads of treats in. I know that you all going to have your breakfast, but you can, Jean. And we're going to look after Jane as well, don't worry about that. Yeah, thank you. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. <laughs> Last one, and then I'm going to let you crack on. Last one. Uh, Telford this year. I went last year with Dave and Bill, and was well, that it? Radders went, didn't he? And Ian went, right? Are we? Is anybody wanting to go to Telford this year? One, two, the three. Weekend. Well, I've always said that I couldn't do a weekend because Charlie's in cadets and she does remember on Sunday. Guess who's just packed cadets in? <laughs> Joking, I've got tons of gear. Mate, uh, it might be a little bit short notice for me to do all weekend, but if not, uh, I'll certainly be doing a Saturday. If you're interested, if you've never been, if you want to go, come and speak to me, Dougie, admin, whoever, right, Marco. Uh, and say, so, what are we doing then? Are we, are we getting a list together? Are we going in cars? Are we flying there? What are we doing? Etc. Etc. Okay, Telford. I'm definitely going. Thanks everybody as usual for coming to club. It's been an absolute buster today, Bill. Happy birthday, mate. Nice retirement. And, uh, go, uh, and we're having a toast. We're having a toast. I've been proud of that. We're having a toast. Everybody, please. If you've got a drink in front of you, which I did have. Everybody, Bill, good health, right, happiness, and good everything, man. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bill. 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 Okay. Numbers, what we got? No members, no members. Mark, Angela. Come from Scunthorpe, aren't you? Yes, mate. Yes, where did you meet? I'm not where did you meet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time. Where did you meet? We met in Southampton. Yes. <laughs> so you saw Padre, didn't you? We saw did. Padre we did. Side last, last weekend at that show, yeah. And hopefully he sold us as a decent club, didn't he? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mark yeah. Aircraft. Yeah.
<laughs> and Warhammer. Warhammer. Just look, look at these guys, it's, we're doing it all. Uh, chaps, please make Mark and Angela feel warm and welcome to club. What was this chap here? Just a hanger on from Church Just a hanger on from Church Fenton. Bill, friend of yours? No, friend it's, of Trev? it's uh, Trevor's son. Uh, Trevor's father. <laughs> 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 We went to Ireland. Right. Ireland. Oh, well, we used to test. <laughs> we had a big long nose on our aircraft. We right. had a thing that wasn't about. Have you seen his nose growing now? <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat Bill because Bill just used to go to Ireland for his breakfast in Oakland, don't we? We've all had that one. Oh, so, I've, had, I've had my breakfast in uh, Netherlands and I've had the. Uh, Right, well, now you can have it in the So, welcome, uh, hope that you're all, all right with it. Yeah. You're all right with it? Yeah. Smashing, smashing, brilliant. Thanks, everybody, thanks for coming as usual. Hello. <laughs> Cheers for that cocker. All right, no problem. I'll let you stop it. Don't want yeah, to cock yeah. anything up at this stage. <laughs> Cheers on it. And that's club today. We've been through a lot. Uh, celebrating Bill's birthday with cake made by Jean and some balloons. No members and it's been absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Uh, all right, and that was Club Today. What you've just seen is Sesco and Amsworth Community Scale Model Club at its absolute finest. 26 people that we had in today, some fantastic celebrations, some fantastic no's. Samuel Grant's packaging in Leeds matching the £1,760 that we'd raised to make a total of £3,560 for Morals for Heroes. And I have been in touch with Malcolm uh, and that money will be dropping into your account uh, this coming week. Uh, 26 people in, Ange and Mark have come a long way from Scunthorpe to see what we're all about. And like every other single member that comes to club, we get two free. First one you come just to have a look. Second one actually, people bring and do a little bit. And then after that, you know, we have the conversation and is this for you? And already I'm getting the feeling that actually for those two great people, this is for them. Thanks to absolutely everybody that's helped me do Bill's celebration over the last two or three weeks. Uh, them jokes don't write themselves. <laughs> I've been sat here on a night while one o'clock in the morning trying to think of stuff to say. Uh, that'll tickle Bill's fancy and it looked like it worked. Okay, next club is on the 2nd of July and then after that we're on to the 16th of July which is the extended club day. If you can make it to that, Paul, Reg, Penrith, Liverpool, da 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 it'd be great to see you. We're open 9 o'clock in the morning, probably while 9, 10 o'clock at night. Last man standing. Uh, all right. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.